Um, our next segment, segment's a lot of fun. Canada Sports Hall of Fame. History lovers paradise, right? Right here in the city of Calgary at Winsport. Our next guest is in the Hall of Fame. Karen Lee Gardner is one of Canada's greatest skiers, winning gold in the downhill in the 92 Winter Olympics. Today, Karen is talking about the class of 2016 in the Hall of Fame and a fundraising golf tournament. Um, so, But you brought in your gold medal, and I was just holding it up. Who do I hold it up to, guys? To Darren over here. And you... You're telling me, and you mentioned it about five times in 30 seconds, that I have, on. I have to put it on. So I am going to put it on, and you have to explain why you think I should put it on. Well, one, I don't wear it. I wore it once when it was given to me with O Canada, and one yeah. other time for a photo shoot. And when I was a little girl, my dreams were formed by me playing dress up with Nancy Green's medals, who Nancy won in 68, and yeah. I was in the Nancy Green Ski League. And that's why I'm just so honored to work with the Hall of Fame. Is I, it was like living next to the Hall of Fame with Nancy Green's house oh, being yeah. next door. I You're mean, she was yeah, right so next I had door to tea you? with her mom Helen and sailed with her dad Bob. I and did not know that. Yeah, and those, those are some of the stories out at the Hall. So the inspiration that I try and share with kids and adults alike is A, if I can do it, you can dream big too. Sure. Why not? And that's what the Hall tries to do, is share that inspiration around Canada and with people that come to the Hall. They can see these. I call mine a trinket, but they're really not. They're artifacts. <laughs> Everything in the hall, but I call mine a little trinket to share, and <laughs> so people can dream big. It's well, a very prestigious <laughs> trinket. Let's put it that way. If you want to just call it a trinket. Um, so the class of 2016 on the 22nd, they're going to be inducted, right? And we're talking about like Pinball Clemens. Uh, well, who? Uh, Brian Trottier is in the class. Who else? Oh my gosh, it's an amazing class, and they're not inducted on the 22nd. Oh, but this not. is Calgary's chance to meet the oh, to all meet seven them? are here. Oh, we have okay. one builder, Dr. Okay. Frank Hayden, yeah. who basically started the Special Olympics. So awesome. what? Just incredible what that he story. could fly out yeah. here, and he's well into his 80s. And I met him out in Toronto when the class was introduced. And they'll be inducted in Toronto okay. in November. And so there's a big event there. And here, this is the opportunity. So at the hall, we have an event on the evening of the 22nd. And everyone can meet the class. And as you say, pinball, Colleen Jones, the curler. Oh, yeah. The I whole class Colleen. is here, which is outstanding. Yeah. And then on the 23rd, there's a golf event, and there's still some spots available. The golf event. So now you get teamed up with someone like yourself, or, yeah. uh, well, we have pictures of last year's event. Uh, this is uh, Michelle Cameron Coulter and in her team. I don't know what hole this was. You can see Michelle in the middle. Oh, right? Michelle so doesn't care what hole it is she, either. She's, she's so tall, right? And Ken Reed on the left here with his three golfers as a member of his team. And Yvonne Cornwyer, who I remember, of course, playing for the Montreal yes. Canadiens and whatnot. Uh, he was also involved last year. So when you, when you join up, you get teamed up. You right? do get teamed up. Yeah. And so there's the social aspect the evening b before and the chance to see the Rio exhibit, which will be launched. And it's actually sneak peek now. You can get out early. It's already oh, up cool. at the Hall of Fame. And it's all what to expect at the Hall of Fame or at Rio. And uh, these are all the mascots yeah, for Rio. Yeah, and so thank you for bringing these in because I don't even think you can buy these outside of Brazil right That's now, what right? I hear. I yeah. think you have to have some serious I'm connections. I'm hold and these up so... Uh, so Darren can get a shot. There's and one, two. The only one I know is Tom because it's the name I can pronounce. <laughs> so we're going to okay. have to watch the Olympics and go out to the exhibit and learn all about them. Yeah. And so these are at the Canada Sports Hall of Fame right now. Yes, these are at the Hall of Fame and the whole Rio exhibit. And, you know, we have, we also have the Olympic um, Wall of Fame out there. Yeah. So the Hall really does a great job in inspiring. It's not just for children and it's not just for adults. There's interactives and it really about, it is about inspiring yeah. through life and sport. It's for everything. And I just think greatness in Canada, one thing I'm not sure that we've always done is really celebrate, one, our own excellence at our moments. We're really quick to mm -hmm. say, oh, I really blew that. But we're not so quick to say, wow, I actually excelled right there. And I think we really do need to um, celebrate excellence across the board. It isn't just sport. And the Hall of Fame really represents that. Yeah, and I love the inspiration, just coming full circle back to your, your medal from Albertville in 92. Uh, I remember watching you booking it down the ski hill yeah. in the downhill oh, and winning fun. this and wearing this around your neck. Um, so only once you've had this around your neck, right? You're saying? Uh, yeah, and one photo shoot. And one photo yeah. shoot. Once that meant something and the other was for photo. There you go. Yeah. Go down to the Sports Hall of Fame and get inspired. The National Sport Heroes Celebration of uh, the golf tournament is at the Hamptons Golf uh, Club. That's Thursday the 23rd, uh, the day after the event at the Hall of Fame on the 22nd at the golf tournament. Uh, you, well, you start registration about 8 a.m. and then, of course, the fun lasts into the afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. And can I just quickly say yeah. thanks to Calgary Sport Tourism Authority because in this market it hasn't yeah. been really easy and we've had some amazing supporters to make this event happen. And once again, they're a presenting sponsor of ours. There you go. Big deal. Andy.
you got to check out the metal. That is some heavy-duty hardware there.